Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I will show you how to use 500px to promote your work. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramilly. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, right now still in Los Angeles, and I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file. Well, not exactly a raw file. It's an instruction file for this podcast, but also all the raw files from all the past episodes including amazing discounts for subscribers only. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, in last episode, I showed you with a one hour video, the basics of photography. It's, it's an old video that I did a couple of years back, but it's really cool and I've got great reviews on it. So check it out if you want to understand all the basics, the basic words of photography. This week, I'm going to show you how to use 500px to promote your work as a photographer and also how to use it as a second portfolio. You will understand why in a minute. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you a little tip here on, um, on getting discovered as a photographer. Uh, something that has been working pretty well for me over the last few weeks is 500px. Now, in case you don't know 500px, let me present it to you really fast. It's 500px.com. It asks you to create an account, which is free when you start up. Um, so you can upload your first photo or discover amazing photos. When you go to discover amazing photos, and that's the, the thing that I love about 500px is, well, it really has great photos. I use it a lot. For example, uh, let's say I'm going to uh, San Francisco and I want to see... Uh, you know, great photos from France, uh, San Francisco to get inspired. You know, I would just type San Francisco and I see some of the best uh, shot because people vote on it. Okay, let me go back to uh, home. Uh, actually, to, to, to the home page. I'm logged in, so you would, you're not, not going to see the same result. But you see, every photo has got a note. Okay, the highest you can go is 100. You cannot go above 100. But the, the amazing thing that happens with, with, with this website, which you can really sort of become a star overnight, is that uh, when you post a photo based on like people liking it and people, you know, just uh, leaving comments, it's going to go up. It's going to, you know, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. And, um, and I've seen people posting photos and like four or five hours later, they were on the home page. So let's say, for example, this, this photo is the number one right now. Uh, it's got 18,000 views. So you got the photos and uh, uh, it says who the person is and you can, you know, you can buy the photo if you want and you can contact the photographer who did it. And um, so it's really cool, but it only lasts 24 hours, meaning every 24 hours that photo is going to get a minus 20. So it's going to go off the chart. So this photo is only going to be the star for one day. So you can only be the star for one day. So the trick is... When you load photo on 500px, do like one at a time or two at a time, not too much at a time, because uh, you can only be a star for one day. They will all start getting votes if you load everything. Scott Calby was telling me when he started on 500px, he loaded like 40 photos to start with. He didn't know about this sort of daily challenge. And uh, so if I go to my photos here, uh, you see some photos really did well. Like for example, this one. This one only has a 59.4 pulse, but it was viewed 4,659 4, times. And the highest pulse was 98.4, which is not so bad. You know, this one, I think the highest pulse was 99.5. So that's really like the homepage. It's got 11,000 views. So that photo was a star for just one day. OK, but one little trick that I have is that um, here, for example, on the description, I, I, I put a link. I'll show you how to do that later. Like, check out my full Lightroom workflow close and how to I retouch this. Click here. And when people click here, uh, well, they come to my website and you can buy my courses. You know, that's how I promote my courses. But you can also uh, promote uh, fine prints, um, arts, or whatever. The thing is, they also, you can sell photos through um, 500px uh, for uh, as a canvas or for a for licensing in commercials uh, so and you can make quite some money with it I, I'm not using it because uh, canvas I do it on my own and uh, I, I, and I work with galleries 
Also, um, I'm not doing that, like all the commercial work. I rather have people contact me, but you can use these options. Uh, the thing is, when you use these options, you, when you load the photo, you have to, to load a very high resolution and then you can activate the store on it. So I really like this idea that people can become, you know, a uh, star overnight on this, you know. So you got different categories. Uh, you got the, the popular category, which is really cool, but you can fine tune it with, you know, animals, black and white, uh, uh, concert, film, like let's say, for example, just, uh, uh, I don't know, on the water, for example. So you get the best shot of, you know, of the underwater photos of the day. And same thing, each have a note, like this one is 97.2. And this photo tonight is going to get a minus, minus, minus 20, so it will only be a star for one day, and only one day. So let me show you how you uh, load a photo to this. So I'm going to go to Upload, so I'm logged in. And... Um, so I'm gonna basically, uh, well, it's it's gonna ask me to either drag and drop a photo, okay? Oops, okay, upload. I don't know what it did. Upload. Oh yeah, I have to click here. Sorry, upload to profile. They changed. Okay, now choose a photo or import. So choose a photo. I have one that's prepared on the desktop, which is here. Okay, so the photo. So as I said, don't put more than two photos per day. Okay, I think that's really cool. Uh, now, what's very important is you really have to give all the metadata. Like, uh, so I'm gonna call this uh, Mejav Sunset, for example. That's uh, that's in the Alps. Uh, give it a category. So I'm gonna call this, uh, for example, uh, this is a landscape. All right. Now on the description. Um, I can say uh, this was shot in Mejev, etc. But if you want to promote something, you can put HTML here. So, for example, I have prepared, let me show this to you. I have a little um, uh, file that I have. It says, check out my free tutorials on YouTube, and there's like a Ashref, it's a, and it's an A tag. Uh, I just take that and I copy and paste it in the description. Now, I'm going to give this file to you, that simple, stupid file to you in case you don't know nothing about HTML. And all you have to do is replace the blue links by your own links. This way, if you want to link something on, let's say that photo is going to get 10,000 views and I want people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, this is what I did. You know, I've put this as a description there. Uh, all right. Then you have to locate. Now, this is a map that's very important. Also, a little map uh, where this was taken. So I'm going to put Mejev. Hopefully it's gonna it's gonna find it. Mejev, uh, I think I took this photo exactly here. So when you click on it, it's oh sorry, it was here. When you click on it, it's gonna you know I could have zoomed in and uh, make it more precise exactly where I shot it from. What I remember, I shot this exactly from this road here, for example. Okay, and then uh, tag the photo. Put lots of tags. So this one I would you know I would say uh, uh, mountain. You know, um, uh, sunset, Alps, France, Mejev, uh, blue, red, uh, landscape. More you put, uh, you know, more you put tags, better, better you have a, ch a chance that people will find your photo. Okay. And, uh, and that's it. Now, I'm not going to click on finish and upload because I've already uploaded that photo. So I'm going to leave that page, and uh, and it's here, and so it was seen two thousand uh, two thousand times, and uh, the highest pulse was ninety seven point eight. But you see here, check out my free tools on YouTube, and when you click here, boom, you come straight to my YouTube channel on this channel, which is cool, uh, and people can order it, and so that that's one use. The other the other thing that I do. Uh, and that's for this, you, you have to become an awesome member, which is about $50 per year, I believe. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I can um, I can click here on upload and I can create collections. Like, uh, and I actually use 500px. Like, uh, if you follow my tutorials, you know that I liked on my website, on my sort of portfolio website, to only show my best work, right? So my official portfolio website is done by Squarespace and is called sergeremilyphotos.com. And it only has about 20 photos of Paris, 20 photos of travel, uh, uh, 20 photos of Venice. Uh, so it's really like my best work, okay? So that's searchremedyphotos.com. But 
uh, often like a brand contacts me and says, oh, we want to do something about Paris. Like I had a, uh, an editor contact me the other day. He wanted to make photos. He wanted to make a book on Paris. So he says, yeah, I can see you got like five or 10 photos uh, of Paris on your website, but I need 200. Well, this is what I use 500px for because 500px, uh, if, um, if I go back to 500px and I click on upload, uh, which is uh, here, Okay, uh, I created different portfolios. Paris got uh, 111 photos. Venice has got 10 photos, interior. So this is where I put like all my photos of Paris. Okay, and so you can see you have by default a URL called ramelysearch.500px.com slash Paris. Now what I did is I went and bought photosearch.net, which links to that 500px page and uh, they will explain you uh, on 500px if you go to the help how to do that and now uh, so photo search so when a brand wants to see all my photos of Paris I, I tell them go to photosearch.net instead of photo search remedy photos.com click Paris and there you got 111 photos of Paris so one is for like uh, you know people that really want to see all the photos I have of Paris or the my best work of Paris but they want to see a lot and the other one is just to promote me as an artist which is surgeremedyphotos.com so this is Paris it's got a, you know it's still my best work but it's got more photos than my regular portfolio which I really want to show only like 20 20 20 per section this one has got a lot more so this is how I work so not only I use 500px as a as a way to uh, show a lot of my work if needed, but I also use it to promote uh, my work with their daily challenges. It's really fun because you can uh, you can see how um, you know immediately uh, if a photo is doing well or is not doing well. So it's very easy to uh, create portfolios. You can just you know uh, if I wanted to create a new portfolio, I could uh, let's say let me show you how this is easy to do. Like new portfolio, uh, and I would call this for example um, USA. All right, save. And so, uh, oh, I already did one here. And then I can just go to all my photos. Yeah, I'm not going to, I already have a USA, um, USA portfolio with only four photos in it. But I can go to all my photos. And uh, oh, it says now you can select multiple photos. Okay, got it, which is cool. It's a new feature. And uh, I can just drag and drop, uh, you know, photos that are from the USA. Uh, for example, this one is from the USA. I can drag and drop this one here and it adds it. This is from Los Angeles. I can drag and drop here and automatically it you know, uh, updates my photo search.net Paris. If I go to USA now, instead of having four photos, oh, it didn't do it. You know what? I guess I have to save something first. Okay, uh, USA. Maybe it takes a little while. USA 6. Yeah. I probably have to wait a couple of minutes, but it will it will eventually work and 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 show me. Uh, yeah, it did work. It added this photo, and didn't add another one. But I have to wait probably like a minute or two, and it's gonna add all my photos. So um, so yeah, so that makes that you know I have two websites. One is really my best work, searchremedyphotos.com, Squarespace, which I really is really cool to make your official website, and uh, photosearch.net, which is just my 500px. Okay. And it's, um, yeah, 500px is a really great community and um, it's very easy to add photos. The whole user interface is really easy. And you can just use the free version. In the free version, you can only have one portfolio. You cannot do like, you cannot have a website uh, with a, a domain name. You cannot have that. You only you can only have one set. So, uh, but you know, it, it's, it's a way to make a free website really fast. And, and so not only you make a website, but also you're promoting your work. Here you got all the notification. You can see like people that liked your photos. And um, right, it's, it's just a real cool trick. I wanted to show people how you can get out there and start uh, being uh, you know, known as a photographer. Because if you put right metadata on your photos, you will, uh, you will get discovered because you know, uh, brands are always looking for new photos on any uh, subject. And it's a really cool way to uh, become a bit more popular. Okay, I hope you like this and uh, you will check out 500px. It's a really cool website. Well, thank you so much. I hope you learned something and uh, check out 500px. It's a really cool website. And I'll see you in another episode. Au revoir.